If your business produces hazardous waste, then you are responsible for it. According to Oregon Department of Environmental Quality Hazardous Waste Compliance Inspectors, the number one cause of violations is failure to adequately evaluate hazardous wastes. This video will guide you in identifying generator status and properly managing, labeling, and disposing of your hazardous waste. Hazardous waste is generated from many sources, ranging from industrial sectors to service sectors, such as auto repair, auto body, and landscaping services. Hazardous waste may be in the form of solids, liquids, or gas. Hazardous waste can kill animals and plants, contaminate air, soil, and drinking water, and depending on composition and concentration, destroy entire ecosystems. Both acute and chronic exposure to solvents and other hazardous waste can be harmful to your health. Acute exposure can cause skin, eye, and respiratory irritation, while chronic exposure can lead to cancer, neurological impairment, and more. By preventing or decreasing and properly managing hazardous waste, you are protecting your environment, employees and their families, and your community from potential health challenges. First, let's discuss technical terms you'll need to know. The Resource Conservation and Recovery Act, or RICRA, is the EPA law that governs management of hazardous and non-hazardous waste. Hazardous wastes are listed wastes that have one or more of these characteristic properties which have these RICRA codes. Ignitability, corrosivity, reactivity, and or toxicity. Listed wastes are also identified under categorized lists called F-list, K-list, U-list, or P-list wastes and are specifically named and listed on EPA's website. Acutely hazardous waste is more dangerous than ordinary hazardous waste and is fatal to humans in low doses. The auto sector will likely not generate acutely hazardous waste. However, certain discarded pesticides may qualify. Universal wastes include five common kinds of hazardous waste that do not count towards generator status. These include batteries, pesticides, mercury-containing equipment, lamps, and aerosol cans. A waste manifest form with type and quantity of waste generated over an accumulation period is required with any hazardous waste shipment for off-site treatment, recycling, storage, or disposal. You'll find a link to EPA's waste form in the resources at the end of this video. A hazardous waste generator is any entity that produces regulated hazardous waste. Under RICRA, Generators must ensure and fully document that the hazardous waste that they produce is properly identified, managed, and treated prior to recycling or disposal. The three levels of generator status are very small quantity generators, small quantity generators, and large quantity generators. Now that we understand these technical terms, let's discuss how to handle your hazardous waste. Step 1. Identify hazardous waste and amounts. Determine whether any waste generated by your business are F, K, U, or P listed waste. Track the quantities of these wastes generated each month. Step two, label, log materials, and place into hazardous waste containers. In Oregon, you must label all hazardous waste containers as hazardous waste and indicate the composition, the physical state, liquid solid gas, the hazard properties, flammable, corrosive, toxic, or reactive, the generator information, the EPA identification number, and the accumulation start date. These labels must be visible, legible, durable, and placed on the side of the drum, not on the lid or bottom. Add all applicable RICRA hazardous waste codes to containers prior to shipment or use a barcode system to track codes. For containment buildings, post signage in an obvious and visible place with the words hazardous waste and indicate any hazards of the waste, such as corrosivity, toxicity, etc. Step 3. Determine your generator status. The volume of hazardous waste a business produces in a month determines its generator status. Very small quantity generators, VSQGs, generate 100 kilograms or less per month of hazardous waste. Small quantity generators, SQGs, generate more than 100 kilograms, 
but less than 1,000 kilograms of hazardous waste per month. SQGs may accumulate hazardous waste on site for 180 days without a permit. Large quantity generators, LQGs, generate 1,000 kilograms per month or more of hazardous waste or more than one kilogram per month of acutely hazardous waste. SQGs and LQGs must maintain records of the hazardous waste they produce and report this record to Oregon DEQ every year. If you generate any acutely hazardous waste, identify the amount you're permitted to accumulate monthly given your generator status. Step four, properly handle your hazardous waste. Develop a comprehensive hazardous waste management plan that outlines procedures for handling and disposing of hazardous waste. Then produce an emergency response plan in case of a hazardous waste spill, exposure, or other incidents. You'll need to properly train staff and, if necessary, certify all personnel involved in hazardous waste management so that they can be fast acting during a crisis. EcoBiz recommends that you keep all hazardous waste indoors. Outdoor storage exposes hazardous waste containers to weather and can result in degradation and leakage into the local environment, potentially creating liability and harming local health. If hazardous waste storage is outdoors, ensure it's under cover, has containment, and is protected from the elements. To ensure hazardous waste is contained and to avoid costly cleanups, Place your hazardous waste containers into secondary containment or in bermed zones and ensure that containment and berms are in good condition. Develop and post a facility map showing where hazardous waste is stored and where PPE and spill cleanup kits are located and share this with all staff. Invest in the necessary equipment and supplies to safely handle, move, stage for transport, and dispose of hazardous waste. This includes glasses, gloves, masks, and high-visibility vests. Inspect containers monthly for leaks or corrosion, since the nature of hazardous waste can contribute to deterioration. Step 5. Arrange for disposal with a permitted hauler. When an accumulation date is approaching, call your hauler to transport the waste to a facility authorized to recycle, treat, store, or dispose of the waste. Include the shipping name and identification numbers of the hazardous waste, the name and address of the hauler, and the designated recipient. SQGs and LQGs must use a uniform hazardous waste manifest when shipping hazardous waste. It must be signed and dated by the generator, transporter, and a treatment storage and disposal facility representative, and include the amount, container types, codes, and numbers for each of the hazardous waste shipped. Remember, your diligence in handling hazardous waste will ensure that our environment, including our water, is protected from contamination. If you need technical support regarding hazardous waste management, contact us at EcoBiz and we'd be happy to help.